And it's a day to thank those who put their lives on the line to save others. October 28th is National First Responders Day, and Tristan Kleinfelter talked to one first responder who shows how a simple thank you can go a long way. 911 services are used to help those in need every day. It's why President Biden proclaimed October 28th as National First Responders Day. And they're going out in different types of weather, uh, different scenarios, uh, different times of day uh, to be able to provide this support for the community um, and the people that live within their community, whether it's family, friends, or just a citizen that they don't know. Um, they're putting themselves in their life to provide them hope uh, during a time of need. It's a day for America to say thank you two words that help first responders more than you may think. It's something that keeps us motivated and going. Um, as you said, we see the ugliest of the ugliest um, and we see different things. So it can be mentally and physically taxing on us. So to know that we have the community support and their thanks and that they're actually appreciating it uh, keeps a lot of providers motivated to keep going. And Tyler has one message to other first responders. Uh, keep your heads held high, keep going. Um, always be willing to learn because medicine is changing every day. Uh, things are changing every day. So be willing to learn, give it your best, and you're going to do great things for the community. In Center County, Tristan Kleinfelter, WTAJ News. Tonight